Hey guys, this is going to be another tutorial in my tutorial series for how to 3D model flexis for 3D printing. And so I'm going to go over another joint type that I use in my different models and then show you how that works in a finished model. And hopefully this will help. Bye. So I'm going to start here with taking that original body length that we made and I'm going to elongate it and then fill in some so we have some bulk to work in. Because what we're going to do is we're going to add a cylinder and then we're going to stretch it out to the length and size that we want. Then we're going to duplicate that, make the next cylinder bigger, and then cut out that larger cylinder from the body. And then we have that free moving joint. So this type of joint link I'll use in two different ways. One is I will use it with the shoulders in a print like this with this cat. So then you see these two pieces here are linked together and moved together where the elbows and the wrists are moving more freely. And I will also use it in smaller features like the tail of this sea dragon, where then the tail can flop back and forth like that freely. It's just a little bit smaller version of this. And so you can get a lot of different types of movements to help you with your flexes with this type of joint as well. And so hopefully that helps. I'll talk to you later. Bye.